checking out now and I've already made these are other rooms. Yes. Okay. With this accommodation people can camp here. As you can see we can drive there over there with the car. The camping and some also camping. These are the bombs. Okay. <coughs> okay, guys. I thought I was gonna come here to swim, but trust me, I haven't really had time because it was so packed in here. The pool was always full, but if you come here, you can enjoy this pool here. There's a sushi bar here as well. They sell sushi. I actually came here for my supper last night. So those are some of the wild horizons. So those are some of the activities that you can do while you are here. So you see all this place. This what this place. Two days ago it was full of safari cars. But I think people are now they're no longer here, they left for home. So we better. Hello. Hello, how are you? you? I'm good. good thank you. Okay. So that's the name of the hotel. If you want to stay in a normal hotel, that's the same but you can see it. These are the rooms. Yeah. I think is it a two or three star hotel, yeah. One of those either two or three star hotel. So this is the hotel. Hello. Okay. Yeah. This is the so we have a talk shop in case you wanna come here. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is where you get to book your excursions. Hi, how are you? I'm leaving today. I've decided to go to. Oh, by the way, this is Tinasha. This is the guy who's been helping me out here, yeah, telling me what to book and what not to do. Yeah, I was actually undecided. I didn't know whether I should live today or live tomorrow, but I. I decided I'm going to live in Spain. Yeah, and I haven't booked. I want to book right now because I need to find accommodation there as well. But how do I get there? To Livingston. Yes. Um, you can take a taxi to the border. To the border. Where do I catch the, the taxis? What? Where do I catch the taxi to the border? Um, maybe now. Maybe. Oh, but I need to book my accommodation first. So yeah. Accommodation by yeah. in here. No, no. I need to log in Wi-Fi. Oh. So I'm going to ask them so that I can book my accommodation. Hello. Yes, how are you? Wenselas. Is that Wensel? Wenselas. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce your name. Yeah. I'm sort of checking out late. Yeah, I, I took so long to pack my bag. Sure. Ah. Oh, no problem. It's all right. Oh, okay. Yeah. But and I'm locked out of Wi-Fi. Is that because... Today it was my day. No, it was already finished. It was finished not because you were late. Is it? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, but I would like to check on... You can use this one. Yeah, because yeah. I need to book my accommodation in Livingston. So I just want to make sure that at least I book before I leave. All right. Oh, okay. Then you also need to pay for your accommodation. I know. <laughs> I know. Right. Okay. Let me do that now. Okay. okay. I was thinking of extending, but I was like, ah, so I might as well go to Livingston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I want to see the falls from that side as well. Okay. Oh, uh, you said when I'm paying with South African rent, I have to pay 200 rand extra. Uh, let me check this one. What's our rate here is 20. This is 50. Guys, I'm finally checking out. I'm living in Zimbabwe today. It will be one thousand one hundred. Yeah, so I just want to know how were things during the COVID because during COVID, remember everything had to be shut down. It was hard. I can imagine. 
because every business is all time about I tourism. Start farming. Oh, until now. and it's still doing fine. Your yes. farming business is still growing, okay? Yes. For you, it was a blessing because you had to start a new business. Yeah, a new business. Because now I have thousand broilers, eight hundred uh, of layers. Those. Oh. So you you do chickens, as in you sell chickens and you also sell eggs. Yeah, and yeah. this is also your business. This is also my business. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So you have different types of businesses. Yeah, I have like Inside this, the, you sell art wait, and what is fruits? That's why that, that's my shop. Are my you serious? Shop. Yes. Oh wow. Oh so you are doing well for yourself in yeah, Victoria I'm Falls. I, I, that, I'm a transporter. I have a 18 18 tons so I, oh. I carry goods here in Victoria Falls to to Harare. Oh that's amazing. So today is in Harare. Oh your truck. Yeah. Oh so it's coming maybe two or three days. But it's good when you start farming. Was us you've got a big big land. Oh, here in from, Zimbabwe. Yes. Okay. Big land. You can start farming, doing something. People they don't. Think. So do you think they don't think or they don't have a start? Because sometimes people want to do business but they don't have just you know money for to start a, to start a business. Uh, to me, to say there's no start, uh, I can say that because you know what? Yes. If you have maybe one dollar or two dollars, yes, you can buy maybe you can go to the farmers <coughs> and you say I want to sell this. Yes. So can you give me stuff? And then I say, but for now I've got. Then if you, they give you that uh, stuff, yes, you go around and sell your tomatoes or fruits like that guy. Yes. Like, that guy who like sold. who sold me this yes. uh, mangoes? Yes. But now he's doing well, he's very well. Oh, that's interesting. That's nice. His family is now going at good school. Oh, that's because wonderful. Of, because of that. Oh. So it's uh, hard to say. Oh, okay. they, they're supposed to do like that. Sometimes. Because they've got here in Zimbabwe, they've got a big land. Wow, and you guys, anything. you own your land, unlike other countries where people don't own land. Yes, yeah, you can yes. go to the rural area and then you talk to those the chiefs. chiefs and then okay. you say, I want to do something. Oh, they okay. give you. They give you. Only that, what I so, did. but yeah. do you think people, maybe the always need to be advised to come back home to come and start business somehow? Yeah. yeah. This is the border. Okay. So. Oh, I finally arrived. Guys, welcome to my channel. I'm at the border. I'm, I'm on the Zimbabwean side right now, so I'm about to cross into Zambia. So I'm entering a new country. That's my country number to you guys. So be on the lookout for my new vlogs in Zambia. So as for now, I'm leaving Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has been wonderful. Zimbabwe has been great. Honestly, I can't say enough of Victoria Falls, guys. If you've never been to Zimbabwe and if especially if you've never been to Victoria Falls, you should definitely check it out. I have nothing but good things to say about Zimbabwe and the people of Zimbabwe. And right now I'm with this wonderful gentleman, Mr. Happiness. Yes. He just dropped me off Hi, here at the border. Yeah. Thank you for coming in Zimbabwe. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them to visit Zimbabwe? Yes, I want to tell them to come to Zimbabwe and oh, visit Zimbabwe. Yes. Yes. The wonderful yes. Zimbabwe. Okay, Zimbabwe. thank you so much. Guys, I'll check on you guys later. Hello, guys. So, I just stamped, I just left Zimbabwe behind me. Just right there is a Zimbabwean border, Victoria Falls. So, I'm officially entering. Uh, Zambia. Yeah, Zambia taxi. Huh? Yes. Yeah, the taxi is to where? It's the Zambian border. How far is the Zambian border from here? Because uh, yeah, uh, I was told that it's not far. Yeah, I can walk if he doesn't manage. I don't know. Do I want to walk? I was told that I can walk, but I, I was told that it's definitely not far. If you are taking me, car taxi, how much are we? Oh, so you, you, you also charge the same amount of, of, of money that the Zimbabwean charge? Yeah, Zimbabwean. Oh, I use, I use Zimbabwe. Yeah, I use Zimbabwe. You can walk with the trees. Hmm? So you see, I don't have $5. Oh, 
So how, how much do you have? You have brands? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, so you must charge me normal money. You see, like, it's, it's in the it's 100 rand is like 5 dollars. The problem is, that's the problem, so the, the, the problem is the rand. 100 yeah. rand is same like 5 dollars. Okay, guys, we just left Zimbabwe, and right now we are approaching Zambia. Here, I'm with my brother here, my tech. Andrew, my taxi driver. Yes. Hey, you should tell people that in Zimbabwe taxis are not cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap. Yeah, think. it's not cheap at all. Yeah. Well, that's yours. That's not mine. Okay. Yeah, look at these old trucks, guys. So these trucks are going to Zambia. So this is. Am I in Zambia already? No, oh, not yet. We are in no man's land. Oh, in Zimbabwe. Oh, oh, so we are on no man's land. You guys heard him. I'm here to enter. Zambia, I'm not there yet. So, if this is my first time, it's not my first time coming to Zimbabwe, but this is definitely my first time coming to Zambia. I am excited. I hope Zambia is gonna be nice to me. You see, Zimbabwe has been super nice to me. I think we're standing somewhere, somewhere here yeah, yesterday because the bridge was not far. You see, these guys, these guys are there. walking because. They are not carrying bags like me. No, I am carrying bags. Oh, and but maybe they are not even living. So I'm going to see Victoria Falls from Zambian side. Where we said, what am I gonna take? Are we gonna be working from this side or from Zambia? That side. Oh, this side. On that bridge. Oh, on that bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was told that I need to see it from both sides, from Zimbabwe and yeah, from Zambia side. Yeah, because some people like Zambia side more and some people like Zimbabwe. So mm -hmm. the best way is to experience them both. Uh, Zimbabwe is very white. Yeah. Yes. And you big. can see the falls, like exactly yeah, falls. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And the Zambia side yes. is very small. Okay. And you watch the falls close to the, to the, you don't want to take a video there. Okay. Close to the, the waterfall. Oh, okay. I wanted you to see. You are, oh yeah, you are now entering, guys. I am now entering Zambia. Hello, Zambia. How are you all doing? Africa is home, guys. Remember what I always say. Whenever I get into a new country, I always say I welcome myself home. Africa, Zambia might not be my country of citizenship, but it's Africa, so I say welcome home. Welcome. You're going to drop me off here. Okay. So from here I'm going to catch Texas to Levinson. How far is it from here? Uh, to Livingston? Yes. Mm, it's about 10 kilometers. 10 to 11 kilometers. 10 to, so where do I catch Texas? That side. Oh, okay. Yeah. I so forgot to, to ask. I can call the guy to come and meet you here at Texas. Uh, you can go and stamp before we remove the bags. Okay.